Hi guys and girls, it's Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room. This is part nine of this little dynamo build. It's it looks good and mechanically it's sound. Electrically, I'm not so sure. But I've been sort of this week, the last few nights fitting this up so that everything runs nicely so that there's equal clearance gap and everything on the magnet and so that the bushes are nice and so that everything's aligned properly and I'm pretty happy with that I think that's about where it wants to be might still be a fraction tight but it's not run in yet And what have I done? I've made the bushes and fitted them. I've tidied up the armature here. It's been a fiddly sort of a job, getting it all sort of half running nicely. I'm fairly pleased with that. There's fairly big bearing surfaces for the for the end float. And we can go ahead and measure up the commutator to go in here next. There's a bit of copper arrived. We've been waiting for. I still haven't got a, a pulley made for this end. Probably about a, a two inch V pulley would be really nice on it. Let's have a bit of a look what I've done. The bushes are basically just a top hat with a hole in them. They're 19 millimeters on here, which gives, which is big enough to, or small enough not to look too ugly, and big enough to get a, a screw in there. I hope just to locate it. And they stick out eight millimeters, which gives them a little bit here. Now there's 1.2 or so, 1.4 millimeters clearance on the inside, and I'm going to part that off just a fraction over, so it's not very much and we might put him in a collet or on an expanding mandrel or something and turn the other side so they're pretty straightforward I've used a bit of bronze because I had a bit and popular viewer survey says that that's probably the best so let's see how they go I'll just part that off and we'll make another one the same. Oops, a bit fast. So I've slowed that down on the VFD to about two-thirds speed. Bronze is funny stuff, but it either cuts like paper or not at all. So I've got the bushes faced off and reamed through. If you want to know how I'd face the back of them, the answer is very carefully. Um, they're not very thick. I've just run the, just faced them down so they're both the same. And that gives us about central. magnet clearance in there that way now just messed around with them what I've done is cut these out here so you've got a slot and we can find the sweet spot then and get this to, to turn this is pretty sweet already and I've clamped this up if you have a look, there's a fractional gap under there. Um, when I was working, fitting up big marine engines and things, once upon a time in a long, in my youth, um, we used to use a product called Chock Fast Orange, which you mixed up in four litre tins and poured round the the engine mounts so that nothing moved when you tighten them down so I'm not sure whether that needs a bit of epoxy or something under there I'm kind of thinking it probably doesn't 
but what I'm going to do is just drill a hole in here and put a countersunk 2mm screw into the bearing so that that's at the right height and everything's nice and I'm going to do the same with the front there and that way everything should run with minimum interruption or fitting or anything like that at this point that's pretty sweet just there uh, it's just a matter of sitting down and messing around I'm gonna to have to find a couple of little screws because at the moment I don't have any I don't think I've looked in a couple of drawers and jars and things and sort of think I should have some two millimeter countersunk screws but I can't find them so I might have to go and get a couple and we'll bolt these bon bronze bushes in here and probably make a pulley for this end and uh, give it a bit of a run in so that's about where it needs to be that back bush I'm just going to get a pair of dividers and mark that that and center punch him and we might set him up and drill him and tap him I've got some 7BA bolts there that might just be the thing I think a countersunk one so drill him and tap him right the way through and then we'll drill this part and countersunk from the other side and screw our screw in him Another little job I've done is fitted these two little dowels. They're just 1 8 silver steel with nicely finished ends. One there and one there. And they're a nice fit in the, in the housing. And that gives us some alignment this way. So that's a, a good thing to have. They've come up pretty good. I've just fitted these with a little 7DA screw. If you have a look right through and filed him off on the back on each side. They're a fraction higher than the bottom of the hole but there's clearance all the way around the the magnet here on the rotor so I'm, I think they're in the right spot. Probably the best thing I can do is put a little bit of epoxy in that groove there when, I, when I'm doing some other epoxy work and that way they're not going to come loose. There's a little bit of a tight spot in these bearings when I bolt it all up it's not even a tight spot it's just a fraction firm all the way around it wants it wants a little bit of a hone there's a couple of ways to do that put a bit of 1200 wet and dry I've got a nice bit of quarter inch down and I've put a split in the end of it there we don't know if you can see that And I've got a bit of emery tape, a bit of 1200 wet and dry that's just a fraction longer than the bearing. If we pull that round nice and tight, little bit of oil on him I reckon that's probably about all it needs to be honest I reckon to run that in the lathe is probably overkill.
and that's pretty nice. Um, we've got the shaft running pretty smooth there. And pretty pleased with that. There's good clearance on that side and pretty much the same clearance on that side. It's minimal but it's nice and smooth. There's no real sideways or up and down rattle in these bushes. It's pretty good. The last job I want to do, and last night before I went to bed, I locked I screwed these screws in nice and tight and locked tighted them. What I'm going to do is just trim them off flush and file them up. And they're not going to stick out, they're not going to ever want to come out, and if they do I can file some, well they ain't going to come out really. Um, if they've got to come out it's throw away and make new parts, but right now it's sort of making it a little bit out of balance. And it's sticking out where it's going to knock you, take your finger off. I've already had my finger caught in it so many times. So I'm going to do that next. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. It's good to hear your feedback and views and expertise and advice at the end of this I'm probably going to do a video on what I've learnt which is a whole heck of a lot actually They're just generalizations and actual factual knowledge but thanks everyone who comments and who puts a bit of feedback in and thanks to the guys on the Machining YouTube Facebook group. If you're not a member, check it out. Um, really good group of guys. There's a, a big proportion of them actually have YouTube channels. And some girls too. Lots of good things happening over there. It's called Machining YouTube. Get on to James Green and he'll, he'll approve you as, as a member. So anyway, thanks for watching and to more soon. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up, all that sort of stuff. Next project's The Commutator.